Hello there. British hedge fund manager Christopher Hohn paid himself £1.5 million a day in dividends last year, according to The Guardian. The newspaper reported on Thursday that the total of £574 million is believed to be the largest annual payment ever sent in Britain. The sum that Hohn had paid out from his children's investment fund was 15,000 times the average British salary and 3,500 times the salary of Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. The paper also reported that Hohn had apparently reinvested the profit in his fund. The reclusive billionaire is considered a philanthropist and has been supporting children in poorer countries for years. The US magazine Forbes ranks him 259th on their global list of the rich with an estimated fortune of 7.9 billion US dollars. Hohn had also received enormous annual dividends in previous years. According to The Guardian, it was $479 million in the fiscal year ended February 2020 and $152 million in 2021. Critics called for higher taxes for mega earners. Then much of the money would bolster ordinary workers' incomes or fund vital public services, said Luke Hilliard of the High Pay Center. And people have reasons for this, because according to a new study, households in the UK paid an average of £210 more for their purchases at the end of 21 than at the beginning of 2020. That's what the Center for Economic Performance at the London School of Economics said on Thursday. That equates to a grand total of £5.8 billion. The scientists emphasized that poorer people were hit much harder than wealthier ones, since the proportion of food costs in their salary is much, much larger. The main drivers were therefore additional checks of goods, as well as measures affecting trade in animal and plants. Both EU exporters and British importers passed on at least half of the cost incurred to their customers. The researchers emphasized that the additional effort only arose when Great Britain left the EU Customs Union and the internal market in January 2021. However, many companies would have made forward-looking changes, as they put it. In the two years to the end of 2021, Brexit has increased overall food prices by about 6%, said study co-author Richard Davies from the University of Bristol. By leaving the EU, the UK has traded a close trade relationship with few barriers for one where a multitude of checks, forms and steps are required before goods can cross the border. So Brexit is a gift that keeps on giving. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll be back.